Hello, and thank you for listening to the first ever edition of Talk with the Tiger podcast. I'm Jackson Webb. Alongside me is Omar Alvarez, and today we are joined by a stud on the court and a whiz in the classroom. Uh, she received All-State honors her senior year from the KVA, as well as earning the Arc Valley Chisholm Trail MVP award with three, 342 kills at Andover High School, just on the eastern edge of Wichita. She came to Fort Hayes and immediately had an impact for Coach Wood Atkins' program, by appearing in 30 matches for the Tigers, starting in 21 of the team's matches. She led the Tigers offensively with 255 kills, which also served to be 17th best in the conference, as well as tallying 42 blocks and 71 digs. As a sophomore, this Tiger made her way onto the MIAA All-Conference Honorable Mention list and won the Conference Scholar Athlete of the Year Award. Statistically, she ranked second on the team in kills with 212 in just 26 matches. Last year, she shed, she led the Tigers, uh, or she and their Tigers had their fall volleyball season canceled due to the COVID-19 pandemic, but the team was able to play against others in the conference during a spring, an uh, un- unofficial spring season. She is back, and she is ready for more this fall. She is Isabel Reynolds. Thank you for taking the time for joining us today. Of course. Thanks for having me. So uh, we're pretty privileged to get to watch you on the court, but not a whole lot of people can get to know you off the court. So I guess uh, first things first, I guess what every college student asks each other is, what's your major? Uh, so I'm a bio pre-med major, um, and I hope to go on to med school next year. Okay. Have you applied to med school? Uh, yep, I've applied to a few of them, um, kind of the surrounding states. Okay, right on. Um, so I guess that's your plan of the college. You want to, Is there a specific type of... Uh, uh, field you want to work I know you want to be a doctor but you want to be like a uh, general MD um well I really love working with kids so I'm hoping to do pediatrics but I'm pretty open there's a bunch of different fields so uh kind of just more of a we'll see when we get there type of thing yeah I mean yeah I, yeah being a doctor that's uh yeah that's pretty commendable so um you know one of the things being a student athlete uh, if your time is pretty consumed how's life been like as a student athlete um, it's pretty busy, uh, especially during, during season. Um, you don't really have much time to do much other than school and volleyball. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy it, and uh, it's something I love doing. And so if that's what I love doing, then it's really not that bad. So what's that, like, average day for you? Um, so for me, usually we have, like, weights in the morning, um, three days a week, and then I will go to my classes um, and do homework. Usually that's takes up majority of my day between weights and practice. Um, practice is usually 2.30 or 3 to, you know, last about two hours. Go home, make some dinner, um, maybe hang out with someone, probably just do homework, and then go to bed and start all over again the next day. Um, it's pretty boring. Boring <laughs> day. Uh, um, I have a lot to get done in the day, so I don't have much time to do other stuff. Yeah, right on. I figured. Yeah, like you said, you don't have a whole lot of time or a lot of free time as a student athlete, but say when you're in the off season or when you're just taking time away from volleyball, do you have some favorite hobbies that you like to do? Um, yeah, I mainly just will hang out with my friends. Um, my roommates usually are watching, we're usually watching some type of series. Um, but yeah, I like to be outdoors, so I'll go on walks, go to the park, um, I like to be artistic. Don't usually get the opportunity to do a lot of that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, I just have uh, different things. I hang out with my cat. Nice, nice. <laughs> well, there's a lot of good spots to eat at in Hayes, of mm-hmm. course, that you already know. Or Omar knows too. But is sure. there a go-to spot that you have to eat at in Hayes? Yeah, all of all of my friends will know the answer is it's Cancun. It's okay. like my all-time favorite. I go and get the chicken fajita nachos every single time. Dang, that's, that's pretty specific. Yeah, yeah, yeah I like it. Good. Good. <laughs> that sounds pretty good. I'll have to get that next time. We'll, we'll take a quick shift over to volleyball, and we want to talk about, you know, where it started and when you played in high school, uh, and how long have you been playing volleyball, and when was your, you know, first kind of encounter with volleyball? Um, I think I joined, like, started volleyball-related stuff in, like, third grade, maybe, because um, one of my best friends, her name was also Isabel, um, decided she wanted to play volleyball, and I wanted to play volleyball with her. So we joined a YMCA team, and my mom coached us. <laughs> oh, that's pretty special <laughs> yeah. right there. And we'll talk about high school and, and just looking at your statistics and stuff like that when you played at Andover. You had quite the high school career. When you got to high school, was it always kind of in the back of your head, or was it always a goal that you wanted to play at the next level and play in college? Yeah, um, so both of my parents were college athletes, and my mom played volleyball in 
college. Um, and so it was always really like, I don't know, it wasn't really like a decision I had come to someday. It was just like something I was wanting to do. Um, I always hoped to go to school for volleyball specifically. So, yeah, that was always just kind of my goal. Was there a point that you realized like, hey, I'm pretty good. I could probably play this in college, let alone not, not even at like community college, but a Division two school? Um, I don't know if there's necessarily like a moment, but I just knew that I was competitive enough to do well. Um, and I kind of just wanted to challenge myself to see kind of where I could end up. And you talk about the recruiting process that can be kind of hectic for athletes in all different sports and, and talk to us about how it was when Fort Hayes state came into the picture and what that was kind of like. Yeah. So I had a really terrible recruiting process. Um, it wasn't fun at all. Um, I was, I had looked at one school and I thought I was going to go there and then things didn't work out. And so I was kind of scrambling like my senior year, trying to figure out where I was going to end up. Um, and I had contacted Fort Hayes, but they were kind of in transition, um, as far as coaches go. Um, and so I never really heard a reply from them. Um, and then, uh, kind of like that senior year, like I said, I was scrambling. So I was kind of just looking at what my options were. Um, and coach Atkins had, was like two weeks, I think into the job and she reached out to me. Um, and so I came on a visit here and I love the school. I love the girls here and that was kind of, that was it. The rest is history. That's really nice. And perfect segue into our next question. We were going to ask, you know, tell us about your relationship with coach Atkins and how she has helped you become the player that you are. Yeah. So, um, I was her first recruit, so I felt like I was <laughs> not the test subject, but, um, I, we kind of worked through this together. Um, I felt like we have a really good, um, we have really good communication. Um, I've always been open and honest with her, and she's kind of done the same with me. Um, so that's been really great, always having her there. She's always been there for me, too. She's kind of like my second mom. Um, there was a time I got sick my sophomore year, and I remember she brought me, like, a thermometer and, like, a little drink up to the school because I don't have anyone local, um, any relatives or family local for me for that. Um, so that's been, that's been really nice, and I think that uh, – we definitely kind of see on the, are on the same page, especially this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can definitely tell we can when we watch you guys that you guys have a really close relationship, and it seems like you guys have a lot of fun together. Uh, this year's team is a little bit different than what you've had in the past. You have some returners as well as a lot of newcomers. How would you describe so far the identity of your team this year and what they've been like? Yeah, so um, it's definitely different. I started the – Started my college career with a completely different team than I've ended it. Um, we're pretty young, um, but everyone here is really committed, um, and everyone is really close to one another. There's not really, like, very, like, little groups or anything like that, um, and we're all really committed to doing our best this year, um, and so I think everyone really knows their place and that we'll be really successful um, just because we've learned uh, to work well with each other in such a short amount of time. So talking about this fall season, you guys had to Pueblo, Colorado this weekend. You guys got four matches uh, Friday, Saturday. Uh, how are you feeling heading into those first matches? Um, I'm really excited. I haven't uh, played actual, you know, important com like uh, outside competition um, in like two years. So I'm really excited to just, to just play and have it actually count towards something. Um, but I am really excited to see what our team will do. Uh, I think we have a really good group of girls, and I think that we're going to be really successful, and so I'm excited. I'm excited for that. So talking about the success, uh, do you guys have any – do you have a personal goal for this season? Do the, does it, have you guys established, like, team goals? Does Coach have, have any goals for you guys this season? Yeah, so we definitely have team goals, and the way she does it is we have, like, our own match goals. Um, and basically, like, when we hit those match goals consistently, that's what's going to lead to our overall goals, which is, like – making the tournament and being successful in the tournament and top in our conference. Um, uh, as far as me personally, um, I, I do have personal goals about leadership and stuff like that. But being a senior, I really just want to have a good time this year and not focus too much on, you know, numbers or anything like that. Um, I'm just looking to do the best I can this year. All right. Well, that's awesome. Awesome stuff. Isabel, it's great to talk to you today. Yeah. We wish you the best of luck in the classroom and on the court this fall. Hope you have a lot of fun and thank you for joining us today. Thank you.